What's up guys, welcome to our channel eTechnese. In this video, we will talk about how to fix Microsoft Word could not start last time, safe mode could not help you troubleshoot the problem. We will discuss 4 methods to fix this problem and I'm pretty sure other creator did not talk about all of the options which were available to fix the problem. But before going further, i like to tell you, now you can donate us to build the free online instant help community of specialists who can help you to solve these kind of problem for free. The link is given in the description. The minimum you can donate is 3 bucks or maximum is up to you. Method 1. Repair Office In this method, you have to repair the office by using the control panel or you can go through the setting option as well. Let me show you the setting option so that you can repair it from here. Once you'll get Windows setting, you simply have to click on apps. Here you need to find your office. As you can see, I have Microsoft Office Home and Student 2016. Just simply click on modify. It's gonna ask your permission, the USC account control. Click yes. From here, you can select this option, quick repair and click repair button. By doing this, you can repair the Microsoft very easily. Method 2. Uninstall latest update. When I was searching on tech forum, I come to know somebody updated the information that they are facing the same problem after updating their Microsoft Office and they have solved their problem as well. So if you are facing the same problem that your Microsoft Office stopped working after the update, then you simply have to follow the instruction I'm showing you right now. Click on the Windows icon, click on Settings, scroll it down, click on Update and Security. Here, click on View Update History. Now click on Uninstall Updates. From here, you can see all of the updates done by Microsoft. And if you can find the update related to Microsoft Office, select it and do a right click and uninstall it. Or either you'll get the uninstall option in here. As you can see, when I click on Feature Update to Windows 10, then I can see the Uninstall option to uninstall the update. From here, you can uninstall the Microsoft Office latest update. Method 3. Restore Points If none of the method working for you, then you can restore your PC to the back date. Sometime when we install any third-party software in our PC and after installing that software, we get these kind of problem. That time, restore is the best option to fix your problem. Because whenever we install a new software in our computer, the software create a restore point in our PC. For to open the restore point, you simply have to click on Windows icon or you can type in here, restore, click on open, click on system restore. Now click next and here you can see the restore point which I created manually. Along with that, you will get an option to unhide all the restore point. You will get the option here. So you simply have to check that box and unhide all of the restore point given in here. You simply have to select the restore point. You can click on scan for effect programs and it is start scanning for affected program and drivers. And you can see the information in here. If you are satisfied with the scan, you simply have to click on next and click on finish it asks you to restart the PC. That's how you have to restore your PC. Method 4. Registry Editor Type in here or you can click on Windows icon and start typing Registry Editor. Select Run as Administrator. It asks your permission. Click Yes. Click on the File option. Click Export. Desktop. Type in here Backup and click Save. It gonna take some time as you can see, it's showing me that it's backing up all of the registry editor and it's done. Once you are done backing up all of your registry, double click on edge key current user. Double click and open the software. From here, double click and open Microsoft. Now scroll it down, you will find office folder. Double click on it and open it you can see it's showing me 16.0. As you saw that, 
I'm using Microsoft Office 2016. That's why it's showing me 16.0. If you have Microsoft 2007, Microsoft 2010, 2013, 16 or 2019, then that's what you have to select in here. I'm selecting 16.0, double click on it. Now here, double click on common. In common, you'll see open find folder. If you cannot find that folder in here, then you simply have to do a right click, select new, click on key and type the name open find. All right, as you can see, I have created the folder open find in here. Now in the right side, do a right click, click on new, select D word 32 bit value and type the name enable shell data caching. You have to type it in the same way as I have typed in here. E in the capital, S in the capital, G in the capital, C in the capital. Now do a right click on enable shell data caching. Click on modify. Change the value from here to 1 and click OK. That's all you have to do to fix your problem. And I forgot to tell you one more thing. After running every method, you have to check that helped you to fix the problem or not. For to check it helped you, you simply have to open the word. And if it's coming up, that means your problem is fixed. And after following the advanced troubleshooting, which is the registry editor, restart your PC. Click on power button and click on restart. The same thing you have to do after following the method too. So that's all for today. If you like our video, give a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comment section which method helped you to fix your problem. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.